Hello today's video we have the following content. Shocking. Zhang Han's new drama is really weird. He plays a domineering president in an anti-Japanese drama, a complete anti-Japanese oil strike team. When I talk about the oil king, I can't help but think of the domineering president Zhang Han in my mind. His performance in the drama is really a bit greasy. Unexpectedly, Zhang Han, who has always been a domineering president, actually played an anti-Japanese drama called Where the Smoke Ends. This drama is really eye-catching. I thought Zhang Han would get rid of the domineering president style in the anti-Japanese drama, but I didn't expect that he was still the same, and his performance was simply hilarious. Netizens all said that this drama is not like an anti-Japanese drama, it's just a group of anti-Japanese oil strike teams, it's too outrageous. Let's not talk too much, just take a look at Zhang Han's greasy and weird performances in the anti-Japanese drama, it's so funny. Unexpected cunning behavior. I really didn't expect that he would be so cunning. It's really unexpected. This cunning method is really surprising. In this play, President Han plays a college student during the anti-Japanese war. At the beginning, he was seen wearing a Sean Sham suit school uniform and strolling around the campus with a book. Simple and clear, no nonsense, that's the feeling. Wow, President Han is still the same President Han. After so many years, he is still so hardworking, not forgetting his original intention, and has been playing the role of a college student. President Han's idea is great, but he doesn't seem to be in tune with the identity of a college student. It feels a bit out of place and not coordinated in appearance. This drama really brings you to life. He pretends to be cute and coquettish from time to time. This scene is really impressive and unforgettable. President Han has that unruly style wherever he goes. It is surprising that he is still playing a college student at the age of nearly 40. To be honest, his cute and coquettish appearance is indeed a bit too much. Then, the camera turned to President Han, who was standing in the classroom giving a speech to his classmates. President Han wanted to arouse everyone's passion for anti-Japanese war, but unfortunately, his speech was so speechless that people couldn't open their mouths. President Han's eyes were sharp and firm. He raised his arm and shouted to the students in the audience, This is a shame that our youth cannot tolerate. I am willing to use my blood to wash away this sin. Although the director wanted to create a sense of passion through this clip, President Han turned the patriotic and passionate speech into a domineering president's lecture, which was really funny and helpless. President Han is really amazing. He can shine wherever he goes. This sentence is so true. No matter what drama he plays, the domineering president style on him can't be stopped. He really plays whatever he plays. Indeed, there are many anti-Japanese dramas now. It seems that fighting the devils is not the focus, and falling in love is a main task. It's just like moving the idol drama into the anti-Japanese drama. The same is true for War Smoke Ends. The focus is not on fighting. The camera turned again, and President Han staged a sweet campus romance and fell in love with a female classmate. This plot is really like watching Let's Watch Meteor Shower together, which makes people feel warm. The most outrageous thing is that in the plot, Mr. Han was originally an anti-Japanese underground party member. Once the Japanese knew about this, they rushed to the teacher's house with their men in a hurry, took out their guns and wanted to kill people. When the teacher was in danger, Mr. Han appeared quickly. He grabbed the wooden stool lightly and quietly went behind the enemy. Unexpectedly, Mr. Han ignored the Japanese who pointed at the teacher. He directly picked up the stool and smashed it at the subordinate who didn't hold a gun next to him. Then, the situation became a mess. When the teacher saw the Japanese aiming at Mr. Han, he immediately rushed over to subdue the little Japanese to prevent him from shooting. According to common sense, Mr. Han should grab the little Japanese's gun, after all, his men had fainted. But what surprised people was that not only did he not help the teacher, but he picked up the stool leg and smashed it at the men who fell to the ground. The teacher was finally exhausted and failed to resist the devils, and was shot by them. When President Han saw this scene, he did not rush up to fight with the devils to save the teacher, but rushed out of the door and shouted, Come quickly, someone is committing a crime here. Are you telling the truth or are you kidding me? When you need help to avoid the gunfire, you mess around like a person who is stunned, and run away when you see someone being shot. This plot is simply insulting the audience's IQ. In addition, the audience may be a little confused about President Han's outfit in the play. Whether he is wearing a school uniform or other clothes, he always likes to turn the collar of the shirt inside the coat out, which does look a bit strange. Why didn't the director notice this little detail when shooting? 
How can college students deliberately turn their collars out to wear? This is completely a domineering president-style outfit, which is really not appropriate. Unexpected stunning move. As the plot progresses, President Han unexpectedly joins the 8th Ruth Army and devotes himself to the anti-Japanese battle. From then on, my domineering regiment commander made a brilliant appearance, so handsome. The costumes in this drama are really not inferior to Thunder Warrior. For example, the scene in the camera where General Han, the officer and two soldiers were walking and talking about tactics was quite exciting. If you look closely, you will find that their uniforms are surprisingly neat, without even a wrinkle, which is really surprising. The camera then focuses on General Han and another officer, and the details of their outfits are revealed. Seeing this picture, I wondered, this is not a fashion show at all, it's more like preparation before the expedition. The 8th Route Army soldiers fought with the Japanese devils, and the scene was particularly fierce. At this time, a father and daughter were caught in the middle, and the situation was particularly urgent, which was simply fatal. Seeing this scene, two 8th Route Army soldiers quickly rushed forward to rescue. In order to give General Han a chance to rescue people bravely, they first rescued an old man, but the girl was left in the artillery fire, leaving them at a loss. At this time, our domineering leader, Han Zong, rushed to the girl directly in the face of the enemy's artillery fire and successfully rescued her. I thought that Han Zong would take the girl to a safe place to hide, but I didn't expect that he would carry the girl directly and run towards our position. Han Zong is really awesome. He directly resisted the enemy's firepower and brought the girl back to the position safely. Just like that, the result is really unexpected. Wow, this is simply unbelievable. Han Zong is really unexpected. If he says something wrong, he can directly carry the girl on his shoulders. Only he can do this. To be honest, isn't it more risky to carry things like this? I think this is quite unsafe. The girl is actually fine and can walk by herself, but you have to carry her on your shoulders and spend so much effort. This is simply making trouble for yourself. Han Zong's performance in the play is really shocking. He sat in the quiet grass, watching the frontline soldiers fighting the enemy, but he himself sat cross-legged leisurely, playing with an abacus in his hands and muttering to himself. This is simply speechless. Are you sure he is acting as a director and not reclusive practice here? This method is unique in the anti-Japanese drama. Have you watched the anti-Japanese drama War Smoke starring Zhang Han? How did he perform? Next news. Wang Yibo serves as torchbearer in Paris, and the bright star shows international style again. Wang Yibo, this bright star, will serve as a special honor torchbearer in romantic Paris in July. This is not only an affirmation of his personal charm, but also a recognition of the powerful capital behind him. This year, he has won the favor of many mainstream resources with his outstanding performance, which is undoubtedly another milestone in his career. Wang Yibo always warms people's hearts with his public welfare heart. He frequently participates in public welfare activities and uses his influence to convey positive energy. His three starring movies have been taken to international diplomatic occasions for exchanges, showing the charm of Chinese culture and his strength. This time, he walked into the opening ceremony of Paris as a torchbearer, which will once again prove his strength and influence. This is not only his personal honor, but also the pride of the younger generation of China. We look forward to his wonderful performance in Paris, and we believe that he will bring us more surprises and touches in the future. Wang Yibo, writing his own legend with strength and hard work, every step of his is full of firmness and confidence. Let us look forward to his wonderful performance in the future and cheer for him. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 